the sun and today I'm here with Ryan O'Reilly. <laughs> hey Ryan, so how are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> so you're currently on tour. Yeah. Um, and you also just released a new EP. Yes. Yeah. Well, guys, can you tell us a bit about the process of getting it together? Uh, it's called Sometimes Things Just Happen and um, I guess the process started back in Canada, that's where mm -hmm. that song was written, mm -hmm. and we recorded it on the Isle of Wight in England, and it's kind of about London, um, and there's bit, bits of uh, um, all over the place, and so it's kind of had a bit of a journey, this mm -hmm. EP, it's, uh, it's about lots of different places. Mm -hmm. So it's probably very exciting to take it on the road now. Yeah, exactly. Play. Yeah, it's nice, because you spend so long recording and writing that suddenly when it's when you've got a physical copy of something in your hand, okay. it, uh, you you realise it was all worth it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And um, this new EP, how would you compare it to your old material? Do you think there are any differences? Uh, I think it's progression, really. Uh, the, the, it's kind of married up with the last one, with the Northern Lights EP, because we're working towards an album, so mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of... Uh, similarities recorded in in the same studio uh, with the same producer who so it's kind of establishing our our sound as um, uh, as the same song where I'm working with the, uh, the producer uh, Dave and uh, there's a song on it that I wrote with uh, Tyler Kite who uh, I've written a lot with over the last 10 years and, and Tyler plays in the band as well so it's the three of us along with Tom on guitar um, yeah, kind of establishing the sound that we want to take forward mm -hmm. for the for the whole album, which is now also completely recorded. It just needs to be mixed and, and mastered. So getting to the end of um, yeah, it's the end of a quite a long process, but it's been an exciting one. But uh, yeah. getting on the road and finally getting it out there is, yeah. is what you look forward to the most. Of course, as you just mentioned, your band. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a bit about how you got to know these guys and how you met? Well, I met Tyler eleven years ago. Um, I just turned eighteen, and I went to uh, open mic nights around Toronto. Yeah. And he was also playing, and we just uh, liked each other's music and started hanging out. Uh, Tyler showed me Toronto and introduced me to lots of people, and um, it was a very exciting time. Um, and then Dave I met a couple of years later and uh, he's a fantastic drummer and a great producer and we've just been working together for the last um, last eight years now and then Tom we met just over a year ago he'd been working with Tyler on a different project and um, he just seemed like the best person to uh, to get in he's yeah. been a great addition so nice yeah and um you also spend a lot of time in berlin so. yeah i live in berlin now yeah so how did you get there did you just want it to was there? just always my favorite place that we visited on tour mm -hmm. we went there so often and we were all so well received and uh i just felt like i was sick of london i fell mm -hmm. out of love with london i've been in love with, with london for seven years and you can't just keep putting the prices of things up and expect <laughs> people to um, to stick around so they killed London in a way uh, for me and for lots of other uh, artistic people who aren't blessed with being rich um, so Berlin is the best city to be broke in and it has yeah. all the things I love about London and uh, less of the things that I hate so, so that's good yeah. it's a good combination oh it's great yeah <laughs> yeah I know a lot of musicians from there mm -hmm. so do you have any insider tips like music spots you really love there. There's a few great places. Like I, I live um, on the bridge uh, near like Friedrichshain and Kreuzberg. Yeah. So that area is um, you've got like just so many great music venues yeah. dotted around. That's really so, nice stuff. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, I can't think of any anything specifically because. Um, I can't pronounce a lot of the places' names. Oh yeah, okay. I see the struggle. <laughs> there's there's a, a few nice ones we played. It's the Alster Club, um, and uh, I live just opposite Post Bahnhof, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Magnet. Uh, it's got close now. I think, I think it's been. Yeah. I think it's just been uh, taken over by someone else. Oh, yeah. But I hope it's not close. I saw really cool Courtney place. Barnett and the Arkells and oh, lots of good bands in in Magnet. So hopefully it's yeah. uh, it's just being refurbed or something. It's a really nice club, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm speaking about touring again. Um, is there any funny stories you can share about touring? Oh, there's 
kind of too many really, I don't know oh, where yeah. to begin. This tour has um, just got going, so not too many from this one, but... Okay, any previous we, stories? I mean, we've been on the road now for about five years, so there's, uh, there's you know, the van got broken into when we were in Rome. Uh, normally van related things, the van yeah. blew up on a Danish island at two o'clock in the morning. Um, lots of times where we had nowhere to sleep, nowhere to uh, to play. There's always funny stories about when you play in in uh, certain cities, you kind of expect certain scenarios to happen. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. We played in, in Christiania in Copenhagen one time and the a lady just wandered onto the stage and grabbed the microphone and started singing uh, wow. during one of our songs. And um, in Paris, you always know a giant bossa nova band is going to show up okay. at the last minute and demand a sound check just before you go on stage. So that's always fun when that happens. Um, but uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then there's a few other stories. Yeah, that's but quite an interesting I'll, I'll Save them for another time. <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> and do you have any tour essentials? Things you have to have on tour, would you? Um, well, essentials are our instruments I guess is a, yeah. is a good one uh, yeah. and then even CDs is a is kind of 50-50 mm -hmm. because uh, we our new EP got mm -hmm. sent to a different band it got sent to um, no way. the band Bring Me Her The Horizon yeah do you know them mm -hmm. I do they received so. a thousand of our CDs and I received a thousand of their CDs so wow. um, so really normally nice. an essential of the tour is to have the CD yeah, that you're selling. Like your own CDs. <laughs> but uh, we managed to get ours back. I don't actually know if they got theirs back. <laughs> but, uh, well, she got yours, so. Yeah, it was quite funny because I was tweeting them and yeah. they sent back just like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll tell our management about this. Okay. And it got favorited there's hundreds of times and retweeted and I was yeah. like, who are these guys? Like, there must be... What's going on here? Yeah, so now I know all about Bring Me The Horizon. I had no idea who they were before, but now, now, I, do. <laughs> now I do. At least something went out of this. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so as you know, House and Sense kind of a blog for mm -hmm. smaller artists. Yeah. And do you have any insight, the tips of music you listen to? Um, oh God, so many, so many That's great, cool. great bands that my mind's gone blank. Um, <laughs> Uh, who are we? Maybe any local ones from Berlin or your hometown or... Um, I, the problem is if I name anyone then I'm going to get abuse from the people I didn't name. Oh yeah. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, our nice. friends, our friends the RKLs are on tour across Germany at the moment. Yeah. We, we really like them. Um, I, I've, I lived with a band called Flight mm -hmm. uh, who are from the UK and we've always been very close with them. Um, there's uh, a good music scene in the town that I'm from, uh, Winchester in mm -hmm. England, and a lot of the um, great music's come out of there uh, in the last little while. The, the band who are um, backing up Lucy Rose at the moment, yeah. they're all from Winchester. So oh, that's okay. really nice going <laughs> to see, see Lucy Rose in, um, in Potsdam recently. Yeah. That was a, like a Winchester reunion. Oh, that's nice. So, um, so yeah, as I would say, Flights, mm -hmm. uh, the Arkells and, um, and Lucy Rose I really enjoyed. So. Okay. That's amazing. <laughs> thank you. No worries, thank you. <laughs> and um, the year's almost coming to an end now. It's oh, November. yeah, yeah, it's already November, yeah. it's true, yeah. Time flies. Yeah. Um, do you have any highlights of your musical year? I think just recording has been really good. Um, the April tour was a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, Playing, I enjoyed playing Peace and Love Festival up in Sweden. That was that, that was nice. really nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it's been a great year. So uh, yeah. Yeah, you're very happy with it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I think that's a great way to wrap things up. Yeah. So thank you so much for Thank taking you the time. too. Thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Okay, see you next time. <laughs>